For a few minutes, the hermit crab will like to fumble around with the shell. He will piss fart and dick around with the shell until he gets a good feel of how it feels. He will stick his pincers and other orifices. Shit, I said that wrong. He will stick his pincers in the orifices and his other eight legs. I'm not sure if they have eight legs, but it looks like they do. Eventually, he will start to move about a bit more, rocking back and forth on the shell, feeling, feeling around more. It's an annual ritual that hermit crabs will like to change their shells, and they will do so as frequently as they please. No one really knows what draws a crab to like a shell, whether it's a texture, the depth, or how it feels. You can see him sticking his hands in the entrance of the shell. But he has not got hands, because hands require fingers, and he does not have fingers. Hermit crabs will spend around about five minutes deciding whether the shell is suitable, fitting, and wearable. They are quite fashionable animals, and they love looking their best. A lot of fumbling will occur, and when the hermit crab feels the shell is right to move in, he will make the move. But that may not be for a while now. This greedy bastard has tried on every shell in the enclosure, and decides which one is best for him. It's okay though, they just look like women. They love to spend lots of money, aimlessly, on things they don't really need. Especially like a new shell, seeing as the one he's wearing was put into the enclosure not just yesterday, and he changed into it straight away. He's feeling the texture on the outside of the shell to make sure that it is appealing, and all the ladies, and all the bitches, will love it. No one truly knows what a hermit crab really decides as soon as he's ready and fit to get into a shell. But one thing's for certain, they do have swag. He is now moving the shell into an appropriate position for which he can further investigate it by sticking his pincers in a little deeper. Hermit crabs will continue this for a long time, and you never know when they're right about to get in. The transition between shells happens in mere seconds, but the ordeal beforehand can go on for minutes. This fashion designer of a crab surely loves this one. He's paid much attention closely to it for years. And by years, I mean since yesterday when the shells were all put in there. I think it's time that he made his transition soon. He looks about ready to get out. No one really knows why they try to change. Is it an upgrade? Is it a sense of belonging and fitting in? They do it simply because it pleases them? He's getting ready to change. Hermit crabs love dicking around with shells. Absolutely love it. It's one of their pastimes, you know? Besides digging to the bottom of the cage so you don't know where they are, hiding in obscure places and not eating food when you're around. And being noisy at night when you're trying to take a nap. As I've said before, he almost looks ready to make the transition, but that sure as hell didn't go to plan. Why is he taking so long? Surely that's the shell he wants. He's been looking at it for months. Months now. He hasn't eaten for days, months, years. What's he doing? Is he about to change? It looks as if it's going to be that way. Here he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, 
The cry was emerging from his old shell. Oh, his body is so grotesque. Oh, he's disgusting. Oh, go into a shell, you monster, you're so gross. And then he pops himself into the new shell. With much speed and grace as that of an antelope. The hermit crab will now rearrange his junk. Until he can move about. And that, my friends, is how hermit crabs change their shells. If the shell is fitting, he will enjoy it. If it is not, he will do as he did yesterday, and change into all other shells, until he finds one more suitable than the last. I give you Sergeant Horolot, the hermit crab. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, as my predictions were, not a mere twenty seconds later of the last clip, my hermit crab has decided to start filling his old one! He's doing exactly the same process. So, I give you a second transition today. For some stupid reason, Sergeant Horolot is in love with this long shell. With the beige and white transition between intersex on the shell's lining, he finds the shell quite suitable, but for some reason changes into every other available home to live in. I don't know why, but he's changing again back into the old shell. Look at him go. He is so stupid. I really don't know why he's he's, un, he's in the wrong way. He's going to fix himself up a little. Rearrange his junk. They have the most disgusting bodies. Ugh. That is the tenth transition he's done in two days. <sighs> I think it's time I call him Houdini. Because really, he is quite magical. <laughs>